Hi, Stefan Svartling here from Svartling Network. I have finally got my invite for Google's new Gmail app called Inbox by Gmail. And it's quite an interesting email app. Uh, it uh, sorts your email for you and so on. And uh, you can do reminders and uh, you can uh, defer email to later during the day and tomorrow and so on. Looks pretty nifty. But one huge drawback is that it doesn't have an uh, iPad app. So you have to use the iPhone app on your iPad and it looks terrible because it looks like a blown up smartphone app on uh, the bigger iPad. So it definitely need an iPad app. Here is the app on my iPad and as you can see it's blown up just larger on the iPad. You can go to the menu here in the side of the app and you have all the different categories and uh, folders and so on. Here for example the app has uh, sorted my email into something called updates. So if I click on that I can see my mail that is in this category and uh, if I open the mail, you can read it as usual, as you can see here. And up here, you have the buttons at the top. And I don't like that, because if you have a larger iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus, it's very awkward to reach to the buttons at the top. I think they should be at the bottom instead, but they are at the top, unfortunately. And you can... Uh, for example, choose that to uh, defer this email to later. For example, this evening, tomorrow, next week, or someday. So that's pretty nifty. I like to guess yourself. For example, if you swipe from uh, right to left, you can defer it. If you swipe from left to right, you can make it done. So that's pretty nifty. So for example, during that, it moves to done. That's pretty nice. But the app is actually like the mailbox email app. Uh, the same thing, the same gestures, you can defer and delay email and so on, make to-dos and tasks of emails and so on. Personally, I still prefer Mailbox over this new email app because Mailbox uses Apple's uh, UI guidelines when they design the app. Google is the only company that still doesn't follow Apple's guidelines when they design and develop apps unfortunately. So personally I think it looks too much of Android and uh, the way you navigate and so on is more Android than iOS and I don't like that because I want to have all apps uh, in the same design so you can use the same gestures and navigations and so on. So I think uh, Google need to start using the uh, UI guidelines when they design their apps. And another thing that I don't like with the new Inbox by Gmail app is that it only supports your Gmail address and only one address. So it doesn't support Microsoft Exchange for example or Yahoo email or something. You can't even have two Gmail addresses. You can only have one in this app. So that's a kind of drawback for me because I must have my Exchange email from a work, a day job, for example. But I really like the idea of this app uh, with the filtering and sorting of uh, the email and so on. And uh, that you can uh, defer email to later and do reminders and all that. I like that. And uh, the more important uh, emails, updates and so on at the top of your stream, your inbox stream and so on. So the, the inbox looks more like a, a stream now a stream of content instead of an inbox of email. Okay, that was my thoughts, my first thoughts of uh, Inbox by Gmail, the new Gmail app. Okay, bye.